The political landscape in South Africa is in turmoil as coalition politics continues to cause chaos in municipalities across the country. Johannesburg, the country's economic capital, has seen six distinct periods of municipal administration and nine different executive mayors since November 2019. As politicians prioritize their party's short-term interests, citizens are left to bear the brunt of substandard or non-existent service delivery. However, citizens hold the power of the vote. From the perspective of the ANC, as the dominant party, it needs to realize that the country is changing. This isn't 2004 anymore. There we go. In the 2021 local government elections, for the first time ever, the ANC saw its national vote share drop below 50%. We've seen the number of coalition arrangements at local level increase from about 25 in 2016 to more than 80 currently. And one for the DA. It's highly plausible that a national coalition government will form following the upcoming 2024 general elections. At present, alliances are formed out of necessity rather than a sincere commitment to collaborate. President Cyril Ramaphosa has an important role in this. He needs to prepare voters for the fact that there are times when the ANC will need to govern with other parties. To some extent, he's already recognized this. For example, we have a leader of another party in his cabinet right now, and that's Patricia DeLaw. Ramaphosa needs to make a lot more reference to the fact that he has been willing to reach out in this way. What South Africa needs is essentially a standard operating principle for coalitions. What Good Governance Africa has called for is for the president and his cabinet to convene a special independent panel to look at the problem of coalitions in South Africa. Firstly, you need to look at whether our current framework around coalitions and how they formed uh, is feasible. Currently, you can only form councils at municipal level within 14 days. Extending that time frame might give parties more of a chance to actually come to terms with more productive engagements and productive agreements. From the citizen's perspective, it's important that the panel calls for the publication of coalition agreements after elections or after they formed. This will give the citizens a barometer according to which they can judge these coalition governments. Another thing which needs to be looked at is whether they can e introduce dispute resolution mechanisms into agreements as well. Whether you can enforce the parties who are partaking in a coalition to stick together for a limited amount of time. It's unclear whether this has constitutional implications, but in terms of how that would look, you know, preventing the bringing in of motions of no confidence in newly formed councils for a limited period of time, whether that's six months or a year, something along those lines. And it will also require parties within agreements themselves to agree to work together for that period of time. A coalition framework will ensure that citizens are always represented. However, coalitions in South Africa can only work if political parties and the people who vote for them realize that a collaborative effort is needed for such a government to function. <laughs>